good morning guys welcome back to the channel thank you each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video if you're new to our channel thank you so much for stopping by we welcome you to our family well we was feeding once a day uh, in the evening time but now that it is super super cold it's about 20 20 degrees now it's 19 when i first woke up um as on the farm we're getting ready to go check on all the babies we got to feed we got to break water um, we got several things we got to do so when it gets cold it's extra work but um, it's all worth it i love these animals they're so much fun uh, this reminds me do you want me to get the icebreaker yeah um they're so much fun you know me and steph worked last night which it should be in this video you should already seen it but um we worked really late last night to try to get the the uh goats and um the baby goats and the mama goats some shelter areas and um, we was able to do that so to, to keep them warm because it got really really cold last night well i mean here in oklahoma we are in a, a winter uh, advisory um, and it's supposed to stay cold like this for for a solid week so with that that means it it actually freezes uh, really hard it did last time so um, today we're going to go over and uh, we'll get over here i'll explain a little bit more which when i say we got to get up and do this we absolutely enjoy it um, is it hard sometimes? Yes, but in the long run, it's all worth it. So, oh, they are right there. Look at them. So she's feeding them, knowing that he has the milk. Yeah. So. So that's good if he gets extra. We started um, feeding that small one, uh, supplementing some, and um, looks like Mama's still letting him drink because he was really really small we was worried about him um not in getting uh milk but she's doing really good with him now all right guys this video is sponsored by olight they reached out and sent us a couple of lights and that's one reason why we're on the bicycles today um olight come out with a um a light for your bicycle which if you want to go ahead and show them how to attach it stuff yep you got it right here. It was pretty easy right here to, you just twist it on. And then you have your little loop that goes around your handlebars. And then if you look down here, you set it on there and pull this up and attach. And it's attached just like that. Yep, it's and pretty tight. to turn it on, you hold the button down for- Three seconds. Three seconds. And obviously, obviously you can't tell how bright it is because it's daytime. But sometimes we get so busy around the farm and it's hard to get these uh, all the videos together, put together. And I'm going to show you how to actually um, mount them. When you, when you get them in the box, this here is going to be attached to the box. Do not take this off. Just push in, twist it, and it'll come out. This here comes in separate. You put it in right here, push in, twist, you'll hear the snap. And like Steph said, they're super easy to attach to the bicycles and hold it down for three seconds and it'll come on. So with all that being said, they have multiple lights and um, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box. Please use that product link to go check out O lot. There's several other lights they have. Right now the sale's going to start on the 6th. Obviously this, this video is posted this evening, which is the day before the six but tomorrow uh, at midnight the sale should go on at six o'clock go click on the link go check it out if you've never tried no light you're missing out um ever since i've started using no light these are the only lights i use now so me and steph going to take a little ride uh, and once again we're just like big kids enjoying these bicycles they're a lot of fun which uh, Steph did a product review on her channel with these bicycles. And if you want to see that, go over to her channel live on the Eddie Family Farm. So, hope y'all enjoyed the rest of the video. I don't know if you watched the last video or if it's in this video. Um, me and Steph and the kids built a hay bin um, for the little goats. 
That way they eat all the hay without wasting it and it doesn't stack up like uh, the billy over there. Uh, they get on the hay and uh, poop on it and stuff like that. There's a little bit of waste, but for the most part, all of they eat it all. Uh, Ben's, which was crazy, but a lot of people said that was good Bermuda grass. It's $15 a bale, but if it keeps them, them baby goats and mama's warm, it's all worth it. Um, the horses and the ponies, or the horses and the goats on the outside, they have access to the round bell. So, which being that said, we got to get another round bell too. But um, we'll, we'll try to do that before I go back to work. So we're going to go ahead and take some of this hay and fill up the trough real quick. So oh. probably backed it up, huh? Yeah. Watch that, Mama G. <laughs> Good girl. And I'll let Steph hand me the, well, I better grab it. Steph's allergic to that hay, so. I don't know about Bermuda. Probably. Well, she's cha he's chasing mama around. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and give him a little bit of extra milk. I think it turned out pretty good. We was worried that those little holes wasn't gonna be big enough, but we cut, cut the smaller ones in there and they did really good with them. Ain't that right, Mama G? Huh? Uh, you got the icebreaker. Good luck. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. We're going to get those heaters in there today, hopefully. I ordered some more um, on Amazon. Hopefully, they show up today. The last ones I got here about a week or so ago, I tested them out and they did not work. So we had to send them back and get some more. We have this orange bucket. You yeah, can. we're just going to go ahead and feed the bag today. I was like, I'm here, hurry, before everybody else gets here. Oh, here comes Skittles. No one's around here because we haven't been feeding since it's been warm. But now that it's getting cold, they're like, ooh, food. over there mamas Feed the horses real quick. It's misting a little bit. It's kind of got a little bit of flurries, I think. But I think the bad stuff's supposed to move in late tonight.
Come, Doctor. Huh? Where are you going, girl? There you go. The burn barrel soup. We're going to take some more, um, some more wood over there to the burn barrel as well. Um, we're trying to um, keep that fire going in the barrel. That way, it keeps the pond from freezing over. So, so far, it's done really good. So, we'll go over and check that here in just a few minutes. I'll get that ice pick. They know what's coming. No, Kaysen might have done that this morning. I think Kaysen gets up and feeds them in the morning before he gets on the, the bus. Yeah. Hey, Kaysen. Leighton found an egg inside the chicken feed in the shop yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh the chicken feed out here. So we got all these lights and stuff ran out here last night. So here in a little bit, I'm gonna come out here and get zip ties and zip tie them to the fence so they're not hanging on the floor. Just because, I mean, they're fine. Um, the goats, are, they haven't messed with them either time we put them out here. But just to make me feel better, I'm gonna put them on the fence. Did you bust that? Uh-uh. We did last night. Probably a good thing we did. You won't be able to pick that up even if it stays whole. Why? That's way too heavy. Reminds me of Titanic. A couple more attachments, or whatever you call it. Adapters. We can plug into here. You just need one, right? Yeah. And what I like about the water trough being over here on this side is I can lean this uh, on this side. And the horses and stuff don't have access. So I do know if you've never used one of these, it has to get below a certain temperature before It will, it'll have to get below a certain temperature before it starts working. Go ahead and put this. In the water. Take me a little extension cord here, or a zip tie. And if you do have these heat, uh, uh, these water, whatever you call it, the deosser, um, do not stick them in, um, which this one, it's got a, it's got a, a, a guard around it, but you want to make sure not to stick it in a plastic one because sometimes it will melt, um, the plastic. Uh, 
go ahead and raise this one up. <laughs> Skittles, you go for a ride. That freezing rain is cold. I will admit that it is a little bit harder to take care of things when you have a full-time job, especially on a farm, which I say that is, uh, you know, the sh uh, sheriff, he has a lot of uh, cows and horses and stuff. And I've always, you know, he's always, you know, talked about when I have to get the hay and stuff when it's cold. I never really understood it until um, we're in, we actually do it. And that's not complaining. And once again, we're not complaining. I love every minute of this every minute of it. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> well, y'all... Well, did we scare you? I think they like their little new outhouses. I think they like this one best because the straw. I'll tell you what, you don't start straightening up, you'll be out here in one of these things. Well, by watch your mouth or I'm going to leave you with the camera. My nose is going to froze off. Look at Mama Jean. She's in there. Is she? Yeah. That'd be so neat if Mama G actually has her babies in there. Is it cold? That's probably a good spot for her so she can't bully their other ones. Yeah. Then I'm going to come out with some plastic, and then we will put that plastic around here. I'll show you one here in just a second. Obviously, we're putting these up because they're going to have to stay down for several days. And, you know, a lot of this is taking everybody's advice, too, because some of this I didn't think of. That should be good. Um, so that should do. So let's go check on a fire now. Guys, we finally made it over here to the pond. As you see, the <clears throat> the fire is still burning. We put one of those old telephone pole pieces that's really big. I put it in there last night for an all-nighter. And the pond's not frozen, so obviously it's done its job where it hasn't got cold enough to freeze. But it was below uh, 20 degrees last night, so I would thought, think that it would freeze. Yeah. But um, So I'm going to throw a few extra pieces in there and uh, make sure it keeps going throughout the day. And then when I get home tonight from work, I'll put some more in there and we should be good. So I'm gonna turn the camera back over to Steph. 
All right, guys. Now, I know a lot of people have left comments about horses won't get in that dome. They're too little. Well, I'm here to show you if they don't run out before I get over there. There is three ponies inside here. Chocolate, Stud, and Cutie Pie. So, I will tell you, there's actually room for at least one more. Hi, guys. What y'all doing? There's stud in the back. Well, chocolate you can't really see because cutie pie is kind of tall. There's chocolate. What's funny is they're inside here and it's actually, it's not even as cold as it's been. That's what is funny about it. My hair is crazy. Everyone's been saying that it's going to be bad today. Yeah, today, bad. today it's supposed to get really bad in a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's not bad yet. It's cold, but not super, super cold. The little black baby is eating the little boy that we have been bottle feeding and seems to be eating really good. So that could be why. He's getting bigger and not wanting as much milk. All right, guys, so we just finished filling up the barrel and uh, hopefully it'll burn throughout the day and the pond won't freeze over. We've got to get a few things for tractor supply and then we are going to go in and uh, take care of uh, this video editing issue, or not issue, video editing and things like that to try to stay warm. So we want to thank each and every one of y'all for following us along today. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you.